March is Women's History Month, and all month long we will be celebrating and highlighting the accomplishments women have achieved so far. Now with me today is Kimberly Kirschmer, co-founder of Women's March Kern County. Thank you so much for being on with us today. It's my pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. I'm excited, and I love all the I love the gear that you have on. Thank you. You're <laughs> welcome. So, what is the history of uh, Women's Marches for those that are not too familiar with it? Well, women have been marching or fighting for their rights for years and years, and for 60 years even before the very first march in 1913, where there were 5,000 women that marched down Pennsylvania Avenue marching for their rights to vote. It started then, over 100 years ago. Wow. Yeah. It's insane that that's already been 100 years, but you know, here we are, we're still fighting for, for those rights and things today. Yes, yes, we are. So what is the history of the Women's March? I know you're, talk you're talking about it, you're getting into it, this is 100 years ago, but how did all of this get started? Well, the Women's March, um, currently, the most recent movement, started as a response to the presidential election in 2017. And so there was, um, within that campaign, there was a lot of misogynistic talk and talk that really started angering women mm -hmm. and bringing up a lot of concerns about our rights as women and other um, other groups. Mm -hmm. And so as a response to that, they started a march in Washington, D.C., and several sister marches sprang up across the, gl the globe, right. not just nationally, but across the globe. Right. And so then Los Angeles had one, and that's really how Women's March Kern County started. There were about 150 people that went to Los Angeles together to march in that very first sister march. And then we came back, and several of us decided that we would have one here. And so it really was just a group of women that were local and involved in the community and started planning one here. And just like there was 100 years, or 100 years ago, 5,000 women in Pennsylvania, we had 5,000 people march on the streets of Bakersfield that first year. Wow, how <laughs> symbolic. It was, it was very symbolic. That's amazing. What did it feel like to be a part of that, to know that you, know, you were helping put this together? You know, it was so empowering to see so many women. And even as I was watching some of the, the video from prior years and looking at some pictures, I realized there's so many people of all ages and walks of life that were out there marching that day. Mm -hmm. And I think it was empowering for those people to know they're not the only ones with those kind of deep values. Yeah. The people that value the rights of women, this gave them a chance to come out and notice there are other people in their community who feel the same way they do, who have the right. same concerns and want to march and make their voices um, heard Absolutely. by being seen in that way. And to be supported by people that maybe you didn't know, like you were getting, we were receiving the support. Absolutely. To see the outpouring amount of support from everybody in the community has right. got to be a great feeling as well. It was. And one of our visions here was to provide a platform to raise up the voices of women in our community. And so we've had over a couple of hundred voices come from the platform on Women's March over the years. And that's been just phenomenal to hear these stories of where these women have come from and what they've accomplished. Right. And just the entire movement here locally have inspired women to get involved, whether it's for an elected position or the PTA, yeah. to find other organizations that lift up women and to step up and get involved in that has been, um, has been a result and it's also very necessary. Absolutely. I was going to say, I think that it's huge the fact that you're, you're mentioning these are organizations used to help build up women. You know, this is in a world where sometimes we can get bogged down by so much of the negativity. Mm. It's nice to see that this is to uplift women, bring them up. You know, we're it done is. with the negativity. This is all about us uplifting one another. Yeah, I'm glad you said that because after, you know, after that first march, once we developed the march here and produced it, we wanted that to be our focus. We weren't marching against something we were marching what we were for we were lifting up what we wanted and and that negativity is so divisive yes. and I think you know all of us can agree we want a safe community we want a community to where we value women and we value young girls absolutely now where can people get more information and get involved with you guys we have a Facebook page and a Facebook group and people are welcome to follow us there you know because of COVID we haven't been as active over these last couple of years but you know we'll see what happens in the next in the next little bit well Kimberly thank you so much for everything you're doing for our community for thank us you. here in Kern County, but also just, you know, with everything you're doing. With it's a pleasure. It's we an appreciate honor. appreciate you coming on Thanks today. Thanks for having me.